Hello guys, this is Gabby Tech. Today I will unpack something very special for me. But before that, I want to show you this very nice blue bag that contains one very sad story. Let me tell you, I was having a beautiful RGB speaker called Katana Blaster X by Creative. Very premium, perfect with polished aluminum, beautiful speaker. Very compact, that's why it was sitting on my table next to my computer and it was shining with all of this RGB effect. Till one beautiful day, after one year and a half usage, while I was watching Transformers, it just died. In one moment, on one sentence, it just died. Afterwards, I was extremely devastated and I decided to look for help. I went to two speaker doctors but none of them could help me because both of them didn't have the ability to fix that, that katana. So she became sad and lonely in this bag. Of course, I tried my best efforts to deconstruct her and help her to recover. But sadly, I couldn't do anything. She just took all, uh, one night of my time trying to open her because, you know, from creative, they decided to pack everything with glue everywhere, so you will never be able to open it, even if you want to know what's the problem. Yeah. Anyway, you can see very nice, right? Polished aluminum, super premium looking, while BAM! It just died. One day like this. And all of your money goes to where? To the garbage. And then you have to use your monitor integrated speaker and enjoy your gaming while you're barely hearing something. Watching a movie, forget about it. So, you don't have barely choice to you save up a little bit money to get new speaker. But no, 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 don't go on this route. I know it looks beautiful, but it's very tricky. She, li she died young. Don't do my mistake. Now we'll put her back with all of my sorrow and sadness. Hopefully one day we'll find a doctor for her who will help her. Who knows? But for now we say bye bye, even though she was beautiful. Sad music here. And after a little bit time when I was saving money, I decided to get something more stable. Maybe not that premium looking and RGB, but more stable. Because I think that product will never let me go. And this is Tada! Edifier. DB350. Today I will exclusively unpack it in front of you. I waited two days to unpack it just for the sake of the video, guys. I was very. And now let's do it. I will use this because I don't want to go too deep in the box. Because imagine I damaged this speaker also. Then I will never forgive this to myself. And now slowly we will remove the tape. We don't want to ruin the box also. I like keeping my boxes. Also, I need a little bit more. Here we go. Okay. Oh, it smells new. Here we have our instructions. We'll look at the content of the box and afterwards we will do a test together. Oh, my favorite material, very good sound isolating material, guys. Then we'll remove this tape. I'll show you this piece here. Now I'll remove the tape here. Okay. This is some of the audio accessories. Here, you can look at this table. Okay. 
Then we have another cable and another cable. Oh, I love cables so much. They're very nice to, for example, fail on the floor while you're looking across your house. And one more cable. Okay, we have one more section here. What, let's see what do we have here. Oh, this could be the remote control. It's so cute and round. I will unbox it now in front of you. Oh, it's even in a special bag. It's not just plastic. It's a bit hard to open because it's bottom line. So nothing bad can go to it and destroy it. Look, guys. Oh, beautiful matte side black. Round. It's it's pin head. And here you have the battery. Let's place it back in the bag before it. I don't know, I'm extremely cautious with the technology sometimes. In another video, I will tell you what happened last year with my motherboard. You enjoy that to the maximum. I feel like sometimes people are just, I don't know, they're looking at my electric components and they just die out of nowhere. Okay, we remove that, we'll use it later for something very useful, you know. These stuff are expensive. And now the main components. Ta -da -da -da. Oh. Opa! Here is one of the failed ones. I will place them in front of you guys so you can see them nicely. Don't worry. Here. Let me just open it. Oh, look at the protection, guys. People are not joking. My katana wasn't this like this when I was opening her. This is the bookshelf speaker, one of them. We have two right and left. The right, of course, is always right because it's more special. Oh, I, I really hate how they wrap these cables in tape. They just make my life more complicated. Now guys, I will put in front of you. This is a this will review the true beauty now. I will I will wait, I will wait, I'll come to you guys so you can see. Now I will Ta -da! look how nicely they designed this. You can see the retro vintage style of this cherry wood with this mattified black front panel and drivers. Very beautiful, guys. Very beautiful. Like, okay, it's not, maybe not RGB, but this is real premium class design. I'll put for you guys here so you can see it nicely. We'll keep this in future so we can cover it. Very nice piece of covering. Okay. Then we take the second one. They're a little bit heavy. I think they're 2.5 kg or even more of the small one, and the big one is 12. Oh. This is a real speaker because you know the katana I can hold with one hand. That's why it's not serious. Nothing light is serious. I should be a little bit more gentle with her. Okay. Nice move the whole thing. Remove the front. Let's remove this piece. Ta -da. There is 
this one comes in the left one very beautiful let's put it next to the first sister this is the right one this is the left one i can show you on the right one here is the control button as you see i told you there is quite difference between them here is the manual panel and you have of course the wireless panel which is also on the right one on small lady screen here in front of it which i will show how to use later and now oh, prepare for this because the big one and i don't know how i will carry it exactly i'll open it inside the box oh you are big this is the subwoofer because you know your life without subwoofer wouldn't be the same so we are here i managed to put it on the table after a little bit time no worries guys i was having problems also when i had to pick it up from downstairs all of this box it took me decades to come to upstairs but then i think it's worth it now let's see the subwoofer which is the main component of the system he also has a cover very high quality of the cover by the way oh, and here here is the subwoofer and now we can place it like this this is the right left and the subwoofer in the middle and now i can tell you guys a bit about the specifications before we go to try this i i want to mention that you can connect this with bluetooth or many devices and also with optic cable and your computer with another cable these are the bookshelf speakers this is the subwoofer as i said now, design-wise, I can say that Edifier, as I said, managed to fuse the modern technology with the vintage retro look because this cherry wood tree is extremely beautiful, as you can see. See how this cherry wood tree goes and fuses with this matte black front panel. And here are the drivers in front really extremely beautiful i can say the big one also like they look completely similar to one each other and the colors are fitting like most of the the houses that you can put it in on the front panel you can see the matte black details perfect perfect look i would say the absence of grills make it look even more premium everything blends in smoothly as I said, they're extremely heavy. The total weight of them is around 16, 17 kg, which for a girl I find heavy. And the subwoofer is the main hub of the system. I will turn it to you now so you can see that all of the inputs are on the back of it. Carefully, carefully. Here, you can see for aux cable connect to satellite speaker l here you can connect it to here is the on and off button here is another plug you can use it to make devices for for computer you can use it for op optic cables for computer cable and also with bluetooth you can connect to also many devices let's turn it back for the sake of trying it I'll turn it onto Bluetooth. I guess we have to use some of these uh, beautiful cables here, which I will 
see which of them actually I should use. Then the bookshelf speakers, the right them I said, acts as your main control unit because it contains the physical control here. You can see here. You have the sensor for wireless control also on the right one. Here on that there is a little LED screen beneath it. Here you can use your remote control which was here control it from here but I you know in the remote control cases most of the their range is not that good here as I wanted to show you have volume button on and off button and for bass these are the knobs the wireless sensor is behind the LED screen the next thing we have are the cables, they seem disgusting, long and confusing. I was never good with cable management anyway. You can see them nicely here, but I can admit that this uh, bronze color here is very nice. Let's open the cable so we can see it better. The aux cable for here and one main cable which is a little bit hard to open. It's really little bit. Okay. How many times they did like this? <laughs> Come on. Finally. I guess you plug this into the contact. Okay. Now I will show you how I plug them on the back. Sorry guys, as I said, it's a little bit heavy. Here I will show you. I move the cable so you can see better. I will plug it here. Okay. Now this needs to go into the contact. I wish I was having closed contact to me so I can plug it in. Maybe I will have to bring one. These ones here also on the oh baby. I really struggle with this. Can't I just cut it? Why I'm so stupid? Okay. This I think will also connect to the subwoofer. Oh, there is even you need to like secure it. So So many cables, three meters. Mm. 
This will be a good obstacle to fly off. Okay, I guess we plug it here. And here on the left one. Here is plug good. Here from the right one. Okay. It seems like I plugged everything nicely. And now we will have to plug it in to try. Let me turn it to you. That's not a step. See her back all the time. Cables are the first aesthetic ruiners. Okay, I did everything correctly from the first time, which is not that on physics, but I'm still proud of myself. And now I will connect to Bluetooth in order to show you how they work. Here you have your edifier SG50DB. You can see it on the phone. Guys, do you see here that bath? What do you think about the sound, guys? I should have removed that membrane first. Now we can increase the volume. Uh -uh. Wait a second. We stop. Wow. Here. Yeah. We increase the volume. Here the bass. Here the treble. I feel like my neighbors won't like this. Oh guys, I'm so stupid. I keep turning off my phones and I'm using YouTube at the same time. Am I normal? This will be complete in your gaming experience. This is amazing. Look, hear how clear is the sound. I think it gives more than it's supposed to be.
ี่ยคลิปที่แคร์ฟูดซาซิวนิบุ๊ Very nice. Here we have for Bluetooth PC and output cable. Now we're connected through Bluetooth, and you can connect to multiple devices. Of course, tomorrow I will put, plug it in my computer through my aux cables here. I can use these cables to plug it in my computer. I just plug them into my subwoofer. And that's it, guys. I think I really like this product. Maybe I'm not that sad about the katana right now, since I have this one here. I still have remote control. I still have premium look. The only thing that is missing, but it's RGB. But it's not worth it destroying your gaming and life experience just for one RGB. Sometimes, sometimes you need to choose the quality over show off. This is Gavitech. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for much more content. 